Right. So there's a lot of errors of statistics that we make, of probability and statistics. The sad part of it is there's an entire industry that has risen to exploit that fact. And they're called casinos. The fact that you could go to a roulette table and somebody's got a lot of money on seven. I said, why do you have money on seven? It's due. What do you mean it's due? Well, look at the previous rolls because they'll show you the previous rolls and seven hasn't appeared in 20 rolls or whatever the number is they put. So it's due. No, it's not due. This is a failure of the human brain to understand and interpret probability and statistics. There are people who are going to roll dice, okay? If they need a low number, they'll take the dice and like, Gently, bro. <laughs> so if they need a high number, they'll throw them hard. This yeah. is this is nonsense. This is crazy. And but and those cons- people are suckers. C- cons- There's other people I that think do it's- understand statistics, and they kick them out of casinos because they count cards. Only, only for those that are not purely random, like a roulette table, okay, you or, mean or th- dice, right? You okay, mean things like so, blackjack. Yeah, th- correct. You can right. tilt the odds in your favor right. a little bit and be systematic about it. But for, I'm talking about pure probabilities. The fact that someone thinks that right. a number is due, right, is itself. Uh, do you realize the American Physical Society? This is my my physics peeps. That's our physics society. 1986, they were going to have their annual meeting in San Diego, and there was a hotel snafu, so they had to reschedule. And so Vegas said, we'll take you. The MGM Marina, which became the MGM Grand, we'll take you. 4,000 physicists said, okay. (laughs) 4,000 physicists had their annual meeting in Las Vegas. And let me tell you, okay, K through 12, is there even a course offered in probability and statistics? You you learn reading, writing, and arithmetic, not reading, writing, and probability and statistics, right? It's kind of not there. Mm-hmm. And if it's there, it's an elective, okay? Mm-hmm. So as a scientist, especially as a physical scientist, I take some form of probability and statistics every single year I am in school different nuances and how data can be looked at and analyzed and put together and averaged. The average that I told you about, you add numbers, divide by that. That's one of a dozen kind of ways you can average numbers. There are other ways. You can have a statistically weighted average. It depends on the needs, depends on the situation. Point is, the physicist came to Vegas. One week later, there was a news headline, physicists in town, lowest casino take ever. <laughs> Physicists were, were told to never return to Vegas. Uh, really? Yes. They were told to never they were return? Told, they were told. Well, that might be apocryphal, but it was in it was in the headline. Really? Yeah. yeah. So That's funny. So these are people, these are my peeps, this is what we do. A little we, too smart. We think about it's not because we took advantage of the craps ta- of the yeah. of the the blackjack table, it's because they just simply didn't gamble. Well, I'm the same way. I, I don't gamble either. I just see, I look how big the place is. I'm like, how is this made? By selling tickets to the buffet? <laughs> I don't think Not. so. Yeah. I don't think Not. so. No, this is made from suckers. Not. Me and my and wife went uh, wait, wait, a one few other months thing? ago. Let's say you're 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 winning. Yeah. In something that you're in the in the one arm bandit and you and you you had a jackpot. Jackpot. What do they do with you? At that point, they see this is happening. What does the house do? They check the machine. No, they no, check no, you. no, no. They give you free drinks. Yeah, they give you free drinks. <laughs> yeah. They, they got a comely server to yes. come over to you and say, would you like a free cocktail? Yes. To stir chemicals into your brain mm-hmm. to disrupt the little bit of objective reality that right. you're experiencing. Release your inhibitions. That... You're feeling lucky. Are you feeling, feeling lucky, lucky Neil? You're feeling lucky. Yeah. I'm not a lu- I don't feel lucky at all at casinos. I feel stupid. Oh, and, and another thing with the uh, state lotteries, this is all mm. in the in the in the uh, risk and reward chapter. State lotteries. Do you know what most of the revenue? You know, it's a state money. It right. goes into the coffers, right. tax coffers. Do you know where most of that money is allocated for in most states? No. It goes to education. Oh, that's good. You didn't know that? No, that's yeah, great. It's cool. it's, it's, so that makes you feel a little better like you're helping out your own state right. when you buy your state lottery. Here's the thing. I Part of me wonders, okay, let me join you in a conspiracy thing here, okay? Right. Okay. That's my, right. my conspiracy. Okay. okay? Am okay. I allowed? Yes, please. Am I allowed one per, please do. One per year? I'll give you all the ones you want. <laughs> I love a good um, conspiracy. The conspiracy is they have to make sure that the school curriculum does not teach probability and statistics. <laughs> what? 
What? Because if they did... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If they did, then no one would play the lottery. So they allocate money to education with a specific mandate that you can't... No, I'm not saying... I'm not saying that. What are you saying? Um, yes, I'm saying that. <laughs> no, I'm Jamie's a, saying no, no, no. 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 Yeah, he was. It's not like a law. No, no, no. No, but yeah. it, no, oh, no, I no, know that. Yeah, yeah. no I know I'm that, just but. saying it's a little suspicious that, that they the don't very teach those things. knowledge of math that mm-hmm. would undermine the ability of the state lottery to make money is not a required part of the math curriculum in kindergarten through 12. Mm. So you think, but you don't think that's why. I'm just playing with the, th- no, I don't really think that's why. Right. Okay. No, okay, so I see what you were doing there. You were assuming that I was totally in on this conspiracy theory, and I have charts on my wall and websites devoted to it. No, it just crossed my mind how odd it is that when you know enough about probability statistics, you bet less. And when you bet less, the revenue to the state would drop, and that's the revenue that would go to education. Hmm. So it it has the power to plant the seeds of its own undoing, and it doesn't do that. So I'm intrigued by that fact. Just removing ourselves from the conspiracy theory aspect of it, do you think that it would be beneficial to teach probability and statistics to people? Oh my gosh! Along Look at with... how many bad decisions we make yeah. because we think we have an understanding of what is random and what is not. Right. What is a, um, uh, there's the one, <laughs> they did this, but actually their analysis was flawed, but the basis was well, was, was well placed. So the idea, you're playing a basketball game and somebody hits a few shots in a row, they've got a hot hand, give it mm-hmm. to them. Yeah. They don't have a hot hand. It is the natural consequence if you're shooting 50 percent in a game or 40 percent yes and you take i don't know how many shots you take 30 shots you can look at the probability that you'll have multiple shots in a row that are made and it's very high and it's very real but do you discount so it's not something special happening it is the randomness of the statistics that's happening okay but this is talking about statistics but from an individual basis do you discount the idea that sometimes people feel really good and they have a very good sense of where the ball's going where they're more loose or relaxed or more more practiced whatever it may be and they're more accurate because of that if that's the case no so people so people have good days right right N- clearly